cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops! Today, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story of the Duquesne Revenge. If you want something good to snack on after school, while you're playing, reading, or looking at television, just dig into that big yellow box of new Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Corn Pops are mighty good any time of day, and good for you, too. So you can eat all you want right out of the box for snacks or out of the bowl with milk. Keep plenty of Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops on hand at your house all the time. Now, let's join Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. Much of the trouble in the days of the Old West came after the Civil War. Restless soldiers turned to the Owl Hoot Trail. But worse than these were other men who used the young hotheads for their own selfish ends. United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles ran right into the middle of just such a situation in the story we call The Duquesne Revenge. Bill, this is one night I was sure ready to make camp. Mm, me too, Jingles. I bet we rode over 50 miles today. That hammer-headed joker's just about pounded me to a fall. Oh, wait a minute, partner. What are you doing with that sack? Well, I got a brand new idea, Bill. I'm going to put these dishes of ours in this sack and then tie the sack in that stream down yonder and let that stream do the dishes while we sleep. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Never did like washing dishes anyway. Partner, if you get any lazier, I'm going to have to put you out the pasture. Oh, now, Bill, you wouldn't do that. Hey, hey, look, ain't that a fire over there? Where? There, there to the right across the creek. See the red against the sky? Sure looks like it. We better go investigate. Now, well, Bill, maybe it's just somebody roasting marshmallows. You know what happens if a fire gets loose in either trees or prairie grass. Now, come on. Oh, my child. Who are I? Quick, Jingle. Let's take our saddle blankets down and dip them in the creek. Maybe we can beat the fire out before it spreads any farther. Yeah, and we better hurry. Hey, Bill, here comes somebody else. Maybe they can help us. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, oh. Hey, who set this grass on fire? Never mind that now. Grab that blanket off from under your saddle, dip it in the creek, and give us a hand. Sure, sure. If we don't get it out, it'll burn clear across my ranch. Well, then don't stand there, John. Come on and get to work. Sure, some fight. I thought we'd never make it, huh, Bill? You're right, partner. Guess we're lucky we got here when we did. Well, I don't know who you gents are, but I sure want to thank you for saving my property. I don't know who we are. Well, I can fix that. This here is none other than Wild Bill Hickok, United States Marshal. And I'm his deputy. <laughs> my name's Jingles. Hickok and Jingles? Well, I've heard about you for the last five years. <laughs> I'm sure proud to meet you. Mr. Hickok, I'm Chan Thomas. I own this spread. Glad to meet you, Chan. Yeah, me too, Mr. Thomas. I sure hope this fire don't mean you got some enemies floating around this neck of the woods. Fire's an awful mean way to get at people. Well, I don't know anybody who'd do a trick like this to me. Hey, you! Chan Thomas! Now, who's that? Lance Duquesne. Look out for trouble. Uh, uh, so, Thomas... This time I caught you red-handed trying to set fire near my property line. Now I mean to see that you pay for it. Come on, draw. Bill, he's going for his gun. Hey, Wranglers, you checked up to see if you got plenty of new Kellogg sugar corn pops at your ranch? That's a mighty good idea, because Kellogg sugar corn pops are an eating treat that can't be beat. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Hey, yes, sirree. Out of the box like candy and out of the bowl with milk. They're so downright delicious, you just can't help having a wonderful time eating them. So tell mom to let you gallop down the store first thing tomorrow and load up on those big yellow boxes of new, even sweeter Kellogg sugar corn pops with the pictures of Guy Madison and Andy Devine on front. 
And now, here's our favorite song. Yippee! Sugar Pox. They're sugar-coated, tastes so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Mm, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar pops are tops. While Bill Hickok and Jingles, with the help of Chan Thomas, had just finished putting out a fire on the edge of Chan's property, when Lance Duquesne rode up and threatened Chan Thomas, accusing him of starting the fire. You heard me, Chan Thomas. I said draw. Bill! Lance, you're a stubborn, hard-headed fool. Go on, draw, I said. All right, if that's the way you want it. Hold it, you two hot You keep out of this, stranger, unless you're hankering for chest full of lead, too. All right, both of you, drop those guns. Uh, where'd those guns come from? Lance DeCane, just in case you're getting any fancy ideas of trying to shoot it out with this gent, you'd better think again. <laughs> this is Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok? Uh, all right. Here's my gun. Now, that's better. Thank you, Jingles. Oh, no, I really didn't do nothing at all. Well, DeCane, you seem to be spoiling for a fight. Maybe you'd like to talk this over. There's no talking over to be done. Chan Thomas, I'm going to get you, and you might just well plan on it. Next time, I'm not asking any questions. When I come after you, both guns are going to be smoking. Well, now, ain't he a nice, pleasant fellow to have around? Why, that young Razorback ain't got no more manners than a rattlesnake and a plug hat. Never mind, partner. Chan, what's this all about? Well, I reckon you get the gist of most of it, Mr. Hickok. Lance come up from Texas after the Civil War and bought this ranch next to mine. I reckon he's got a built-in burr in his craw because he doesn't get along very well with folks around here. Still feels like everybody's against him, huh? Yeah, that's about it. And I'm fed up with his blind stubbornness. If he wants to come shoot and let him, I'll be ready for him. Oh, now, gunplay ain't gonna settle nothing at all. Jingles is right, Chan. Oh, but, Bill, that Lance DeCane means trouble. If he's not stopped, somebody's gonna get hurt. Looks that way, all right. Does Lance have any friends at all around here, Chan? The only one he seems to be friendly with is a lawyer in town by the name of Oliver Golden. Mm-hmm. Well, you go on back to your ranch, Chan. Jingles and I will go in there first thing in the morning and see if we can talk to Golden. Guess this is it, Jingles. Uh, not much of a town, is it? No, it isn't. Hey, hey, there's Golden Shingle hanging out on the other side of the gambling palace. Well, that's the man we want to see. Who about that? Who? Oh, Joker. Hey, Bill, that horse next to yours looks familiar. Yeah, that's Lance Duquesne's horse, Jingle. I thought so. Now, what do you reckon he's doing in town? Maybe he came to talk to Golden. Uh-oh. Bill, here here comes Duquesne now. I saw you two looking at my horse. He come to town to spy on me, Hickok, and I'm calling for a showdown with you right now. No, Lance. Now who's horning in? Lance, boy, don't scratch leather with this gent. Now you just leave that six-gun your host and go on back to the ranch. I'll leave town when I get good and ready. Bill, I'm surprised at you. Why do you take that kind of talk from a young whippersnapper like Lance DeCain? I figure there's an easier way to settle this trouble, Jingles. Well, Mr. Hickok, you may be right, but it sure looks bad. You seem to know my name, mister, but I don't know yours. I'm Oliver Golden. Well, Mr. Golden, just so happens that we came to town to talk to you about young Lance Duquesne. What's the matter? Has he gotten into trouble again? Well, he would have if Bill hadn't stopped him. What happened? Never mind that. What's the trouble between Lance Duquesne and Chan Thomas? So that's what it was. Well, step into my office, gents, and we can talk more comfortably. Bill, as long as we're so close to the cafe, couldn't we um, uh, stop by for lunch, huh? Later, Jingle. Oh. Here we are, gents. Come right in. Hey, boss, I was just a... Oh, I didn't know you had nobody with you. Hello, Rube. Whatever you've got will have to wait, because these gents want to talk to me. Hey, ain't this Wild Bill Hickok? That's right. It's Wild Bill Hickok, Rube, and his deputy jingles. Gents, this is Rube Brandt. Howdy, Rube. Hi. Howdy. They just had a run-in with Lance Duquesne. Lance, huh? Yeah. He's still around town. Why don't you go out and keep your eye on things while I talk to Hickok? Okay, boss, I'll do just that. I sure will. 
Well, Mr. Hickok, Jingles, have a seat. Well, thanks. I reckon I could rest my weary old bones if this chair is big enough to hold me. Now, Mr. Golden, what about Duquesne and Thomas? Yeah, why are they flying at each other like a couple of wildcats? Well, it's kind of easy to figure when you get down to it. Thomas and Duquesne got the two best ranches in the valley. Duquesne thinks Thomas is trying to run him off, so he keeps picking a fight. Thomas is not one to take it for much longer. I reckon there'll be fireworks there before you know it. Bill, some Jasper shot at me through the window and knocked my doggone hat off. Come on, partner, let's get him. Round this way, partner. Yeah, I hope I catch that bushwhacking Jasper. I'll make him eat that six gun. He shot right through this window. But I don't see him. You wait till I catch up with that Lance Duquesne. I'll teach him not to go shooting at people. What makes you think it was Lance Duquesne, Jingle? Well, who else could it be, Bill? He's gunning for us, and you know it. Just sneaked up by that wind and let fly. Well, you've got to have proof. Well, then, let's go run him down. No, not now. I've got another idea. What's that? Let's eat lunch. Huh? Well, now, that's what I call a right good idea. <laughs> Where are we going to eat? At this cafe right next door. Oh, yeah, I can see it through the window. Hey, that's right handy for Golden. <laughs> All he'd have to do is to reach across and get a ham sandwich any time he wanted. Now, that's the kind of an office I want. Yeah. If you ate any more, you wouldn't be able to get in the saddle, partner, and you'd have to have an office. Oh, Bill. What'd you pick this table right by the window for, Bill? Well, it's right across from Golden's office. I thought maybe Duke Kane might come back in there and we could hear what they had to say. Oh, yeah. Now, don't stick your head too far out that window, Jingles. I don't want them to know we're in here. Oh, just like playing detective, huh, Bill? Mm-hmm. You might call it that. Now, don't make too much noise eating that soup. Oh, I won't, Bill. I'll drink it right out of the bowl real quiet like. Hey, hey, look, Bill. Through the window at Golden's office. Ain't that that Rube Brandt going back in there? Yeah, that's him. Well, that won't help us much. Maybe not, but let's listen anyway. You blundering hammerhead. Now, boss, I couldn't help it. Uh, what's done's done. I've got a plan. You've got to settle this Thomas Duquesne feud once and for all. Yeah, I figure now's the time, huh? That's right. So you get the boys and meet me near the swinging bridge at Coyote Creek after dark tonight. I'll tell you what to do from there. I got you, boss. They'll be there. Come on, Jingles, finish your meal. we got work to do. Now, what do you think of all of a sudden? Never mind. Just down that pork chop and let's get out of here. Oh, that's all right, Bill. I'll just take it with me. Come on, let's go. Now, here's what I want you to do, Jingles. Go find Lance Duquesne. Tell him if he still wants trouble with me, I'll be waiting for him by the big oak tree beyond the red barn north of town. Bill, have you lost your mind? You gonna go out there and sit and wait for him like a blackbird sitting on a pump handle? Never mind. Just go find him. Tell him what I said. You come with him and don't let anybody see you leave town. All right, but I sure don't get what you're up to, and I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. All right, keep riding, Duquesne. Ride straight north of town. Big overstuffed buffalo robe. If this is a trap, I'm going to perforate your hide. And Hickox, too. Now, that might be a right big job for a little fella like you to tackle. We'll just see about that. Well, there's Bill now near the big oak. Don't forget you'd better keep your hands away from that holster until you know what he wants with you. Here he is, Bill. But watch him. He's as prickly as a porcupine. Hello, Lance. All right, Hickok. Now's the showdown. Billy's drawn. <laughs> You're not trapping me, Hickok. Billy's getting away. I'll get him, partner. Up, watch out. Up, boy. After him. Lance, wait up. I'm waiting for nothing. All right, I guess we'll have to do this my way. Get him, Buckshot. Hey. Right, come down over that foot. No, let it go. Let it go. Settle down. Settle down, boy. Hey. All right. Get back on your horse. You got him, Bill. Yep. You got his gun? Yeah, I got it. Here are the horses. Now what are you going to do? Yeah, I got... Now I got my gun. What are you going to do with me? Try to show you where you've been wrong. Get on your horse. Where are you take me? To Chan Thomas's ranch. Thomas? You take me there without a gun, he'll shoot me down like a mad dog. Now, I don't think so. But, Bill... Let's I... cut out this joint and get on our way. We've got to get there before sundown. <laughs> Now, 
Now, gents, let's all sit down and make ourselves comfortable. You mean you're keeping Lancaster Kane and me prisoners in my own house, Hickok? Yeah, Chan, looks that way, don't it? <laughs> Chan, where's the swinging bridge on Coyote Creek? Right in the dividing line between Lance's ranch and mine, about two miles from here. Well, now that it's dark, I figure we won't have long to wait, huh? Ah, so you just might as well be comfortable, gents. You know, Chan, I've been thinking. You and Lance here got two mighty fine ranches. You've got good water on yours, and he's got fine range on his. What are you getting at, Hickok? Huh? Well, if those two spreads were put together, you two young fellows went into partnership, you'd have about the finest ranch in the West. Partnership? With Chan Thomas? I'd just soon bed down with a Gila monster. Me too. Well, no need to get all head up. It was just an idea. Yeah, Bill, that sounds right good. What's that? Hey, Bill, that, that was shots, and don't that sound like a herd running? I yeah, sure does. Hey, that's on my ranch. Somebody's wrestling my cattle. It does sound like that, doesn't it, Chan? Uh, well, don't just sit there, Bill. Let's go get him. Mm, no hurry. What do you mean, no hurry? Somebody's driving off my cows. Well, now's the time to ask you a question. If Lance Duquesne wasn't sitting here right now, who would you figure was driving off those cows of yours? Why, why Lance, of course. Why? Why, you know I got a mind to take you part right now. Choose me a wrestling outbreak every time. Come on, I've been itching to settle this with you. Hold it, Lance. I said hold it. All right, that's better. Hooey, sure don't take much to set off a fire between these two, does it, Bill? No. Maybe now I can get them to listen to reason. All right, get on with it. What's your point? Just what I was talking about. It can't be Lance wrestling your cattle because he's sitting here. And Lance, you can see there's trouble being caused without Chan being in on it. What? Well, then who's after those cattle out there? That's just what we're going to find out. Take your guns. This may mean a battle. Come on. Wranglers, while I've been chomping on my Kellogg sugar corn pops here listening to the show, a thought struck me that this picture Andy Devine on the package would sure look fine in a feller's room. Same with the picture Guy Madison on Mother Box here. Make a nice pair of pictures to put on the wall near your bed or desk. Why don't you get the pair and put them up? Of course, what you really go for are the Kellogg sugar corn pops. You'll eat them by the handful right out of the box. And say, partner, you never tasted anything so good as sugar corn pops for breakfast. You know, in a bowl with milk. You don't need to sugar them. They're already sweetened. Ask Mom to get you a couple of those big yellow packages of Kellogg sugar corn pops real soon. And now, how about a little Kellogg sugar corn pops music? Sugar pops. They're sugar coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh boy, they're neat. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. While Bill Hickok and Jingles were holding Chan Thomas and Lance Duquesne virtual prisoners at Chan's ranch, it was long after dark when Bill heard the sound he expected to hear. Distant gunshots and the thunder of hooves told Bill that now it was time to act. Within minutes, the four men were gaining ground on the rustlers and the herd. All right, pull your horses down now. Who are these? Oh, oh, oh. Ain't we gonna rush him, Bill? Ho, oh, Joker, ho. Oh. Just walk now, boy. Just a minute, Jingles. Let the mill that herd and get it spotted. What do you mean, spotted? It's right in the middle of my ranch now, and he's mixing those cattle with mine. Yeah, it'll take a week to cut my brand out of Lance's herd. All right, now. Who but Jack? Stop your horses. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what they're going to do. Well, here they come, Bill. There's five of them. Well, there's four of us. That ought to be enough. They can't see us here in these trees. Maybe we'll surprise them. Yeah, have your guns ready. They, they may not like being surprised. Quiet now. Let them get right up to us, and wait till I say the word. And jump them. Well, boss, that ought to fix him. Yeah, tomorrow morning there'll be fireworks between Thomas and Duquesne. Yeah, by tomorrow afternoon you'll be able to take over both these ranches by writing your own ticket. So that's the plan, huh? Yeah. All right, get him. Stop where you are, gents, and reach for the stars. I know that voice. It's Hickok. Shoot you, fool. Let's get out of here. Fan out, Jingles. Don't let him get away. You're not taking me, Hickok. That's what you think, mister. Now hold on on that caillou. 
I got one, too. Now drop that gun, you. All right, all right. Don't shoot. Hold it right there, all of you. Ah, see what you got us into, Golden? Shut up, you fool. Ah, just let me get a look at it. Gold. Yeah, Lance, your friend Gold. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> well, gents, I guess that about clears it up. Golden, you're going to pay for this. You've been leading me around by the nose ever since I got here. Now I'm going to take you apart. Come here, you. No, Lance, hold it. We'll all take care of him. Uh, you got other things to think about. Well, Mr. Hickok, you mean Golden and his gang have been trying to get us to fight it out all this time? That's right, Chan. Golden told us himself that you and Lance had the best two ranches in the valley. He figured to get those ranches real cheap, maybe for nothing. Yeah. I'd have had him, too, if you hadn't have shown up, Hickok. Now, ain't that funny? <laughs> Seems to me I've heard that said before by other polecats just like you. Well, Jingles, I guess we can take these mavericks back into town to the sheriff. Yeah, that's going to be a downright pleasure. Well, Mr. Hickok, you suggested a while back at my house that me and Lance might do mighty well to put our ranches together. If Lance is agreeable, I say we can be partners. Oh, well, now, that's a right good idea. Partners it is. Shake, huh? Good enough. Good luck to you both. Well, I'll be doggone. Now, ain't that fine? You know, last night you two young mavericks were shaking six guns under each other's noses, and now you're shaking hands. Bill, if you and me keep making friends out of people like this, there ain't going to be no more trouble in the West, and we're going to be out of a job. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Thanks for being with us today, folks. And Jingles, what's our story about on Friday? Oh, well, remember that fellow Wild Bill and Jingles chased down into the Badlands? Well, that's it. We meet gunfire and a real tough hombre in Baron of the Badlands. Join us, will you? Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Right. It's a great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Sugar Corn Pops are great. So long. See you Friday. <laughs> Yes, sir, Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Tony Barrett, Frank Gerstle, Curly Bradley, Tyler McVeigh, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce. Story by Larry Hayes. Music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Don't forget to listen Friday, same time, same station, when Wild Bill Hickok comes face to face with the Baron of the Badlands. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal. And Kellogg's Corn Flakes, America's favorite ready-to-eat cereal. <laughs> <laughs>